Hey guys, it's Melanie and my assistant Alfie. We are coming at you on this a delightful Saturday with the weekly home fragrance roundup. I hope you all are having a really good start to your weekend. Um, are you doing all the grocery shopping this weekend for Thanksgiving? Which by the way, holy crap is this next Thursday. What? How is it almost Thanksgiving? You guys, it's freaking me out. Christmas is gonna be here in no time. Um, we are at a slightly different angle and we will be here at this angle until after the holidays because, and I'm just gonna turn you guys around real quick. We got this happening in front of the window. And um, if you are into holiday decorate with me videos, you should tune in next week. And also like into the following week because I did a whole decorate with me series for the holidays. And I would just like to give myself a little pat on the back because if, if you're new to my channel, I am not one who has really done much in the way of like editing my videos in the past. I've kept it kind of basic because, well, I don't know. I just at 43, I'm not into like learning a whole bunch of like new technology things because I'm kind of stubborn and a grandma in that way. Um, but I made it a goal for myself to, and it was for this year. <laughs> I set goals every January. I made it a goal to learn how to edit my videos this year. And you guys, it took me until November, but here I am. I did it. I learned how to do it. I even added music. Now the first couple videos, I'm like still kind of learning stuff. So bear with me through the first couple. Music's a little choppy, but it gets better. It gets better because I learned things. I opened my mind and learned some new things. I'm really proud of myself. Anyway, if you're interested in like holiday decor, um, I'm going to show you guys how I decorated the mantles in my house, all of the Christmas trees. And then I will be doing like a whole holiday home tour. I do that every single year and um, that's what's gonna be coming up. So make sure that you're subscribed and uh, yeah, there you have it. Okay, now let's talk the good stuff, which is candles and wax melts for the last week. I have been in a holiday like candle mood. I mean, it has been nothing but delicious holiday scents in this house and um, I'm loving everything. Loving all of it. Like, it smells like a million bucks in here, you guys. I don't even know where to start. I have things here. I have things on the chair beside me on the floor. <laughs> I'm just going to start grabbing. I will be putting links and discount codes. I have a new discount code for you guys as well in the description box down below. So make sure that you always open that description box below the video. There is usually loads of information in there. Sometimes I forget to add something. I, I kind of rush through the uh, like description box sometimes, but usually I try to do a really good job of filling that thing out for you guys. So there's all sorts of like info down there. Okay. Uh, we were enjoying some nest. Um, this one is not the spiced orange. No, this is the spiced orange pomander. This was called spiced orange and clove. Sorry. <laughs> this was called spiced orange and clove back when it was on the nest website and when they were selling it at Sephora and stuff. And what are you doing back here, sir? You're eating something and I don't know what it is. Oh, you're licking that sign. Why are you doing that? Don't do that. Weirdo. Um, he's just like pressed up against my back here. <laughs> he's so funny. Um, but Laura Slatkin made this a Crate and Barrel exclusive. I've kind of lamented about that for the last few weeks. I just don't love Crate and Barrel because they really don't do a lot of coupons. That's why. Not that they don't have beautiful things. I, well, Crate and Barrel isn't really my style. I would say if I had to pick between the different like high-end retailers, I would be more of like a Pottery Barn kind of girl. I feel like I would be a Pottery Barn girl. Crate and Barrel, little too modern for my liking. But anyway, this is now at Crate and Barrel if you want to try it. It's, it's beautiful. It's a classic orange pomander scent. Um, I would like some other retailers, Kringle, Homeworks, Bath and Body Works, if any of you are listening, uh, you, you should do you should do an orange pomander scent for the holidays because this is such a classic. I just, I love it. It just makes me happy every time I smell that orange 
and clove, just beautifully blended. Oh, that one's done really well. I love that one. Okay, um, I think this review is going to go up. I think it might go up Sunday. Also, tomorrow on Sunday, I have I have my collab with Lisa. So Lisa and I do um, a few collabs every year. Lisa is uh, Lisa Roberry. Most of you guys are aware of who she is. We like to do our top Scentsy holiday fragrance suggestions, and um, we've got a really good one this year. So that's that's going up tomorrow. And I think I'm also going to just plug this one in. I already have this candle review done, and I want to get it out. Please stop licking that, sir. <laughs> This is Cookies with Santa. Okay, so, um, I mean, I talk about it in the video. This has those classic tree stump wicks that Bath & Body Works really loves right now. The, the fragrance is incredible. Um, but I can tell she's going to end up in the candle crock here real soon. So, hmm. if you don't know what a candle crock is, open that description box down below. I will put my candle crock 101 video as well as a link to a very neutral candle crock that doesn't have a bunch of like inspirational quotes and whatnot in it. Also this week, Cranberry Woods. I think this is by far my favorite packaging of Cranberry Woods. It's the most simple. Um, this was from 2017 and it was just in this like beautiful red jar with just the simple label on the front and this like basket weave top. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. I love Cranberry Woods. This is this is definitely a staple for me. Oh, he's finally settling in. <laughs> um, this is a staple for me every fall and um, holiday season. It's beautiful. Love it. We were doing some Cranberry Woods. Uh, sorry, not Cranberry Woods. That's what I just showed you guys. This is Cranberry Wreath. We got a lot of Cranberry going on because I love Cranberry around um, November and December. Um, it Just really any type of Cranberry scent. I just, I love Cranberries. Hi, sir. Okay, I have a discount code for you guys for the Homeworks website. They are doing just a bunch of different sales um, coming up here. Uh, there will be Black Friday sales, Cyber Monday. They've been just adding a ton of new fragrances to the Homeworks website, which I think is really nice to see because normally QVC gets all the new stuff. Um, but I'm seeing some Okay, yeah, nope, we don't need to start barking now. Um, uh, usually QVC gets most of the new stuff, but, um, yeah, so make sure you're signed up for the homeworks emails and sign up for their, uh, rewards program as well. Um, but the code is Melanie10 and that'll save you 10% off of your purchase. Also right now, if you meet the minimum shipping, uh, or the minimum, like, requirement for free shipping, which, oh gosh, what is it right now? Is it $60? If you spend $60 or more on the website, um, it has it has changed slightly. They've, they've changed some of their sales, um, but it should only be $5 shipping, so that's way less than QVC, which, and it's on your entire order, <laughs> not like per duo that you're purchasing, so that's good. But anyway, uh, the code is Melanie10. I'll put it in the description box down below. Um, you enter it in the discount code area. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's for you guys. So if you want to, if you want to get 10% off on the Hallmarks website, feel free. There you go. Um, but Cranberry Wreath is delicious. If you are also a cranberry person, you need to check this out. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, I just love it. This has this beautiful, sweet and tart cranberry mixed with like a little bit of like a balsam note. Oh, it's heavenly. Mm. That needs to stick around. If it doesn't, I'm going to be real sad. Also, this is part of a trio. I have the other one here because I just finished it. Um, Tree Farm Lane and Honey Glazed Pear and Honey Crisp Orchard are in the Country Inn Trio from Homeworks. They are now selling that trio on their website for $58. And um, you can use the 10% off of that as well. So um, anyway, I love this Honey Glazed Pear. I just think... This is such a unique pear scent. It has honey in it. Um, it also, uh, it says that it has aged rum. It, I don't really smell the boozy note. Um, with a lot of Harry's boozy scents, I definitely pick that up. I don't pick that up in this, um, but I do get the butterscotch in here, the, the honey. They say spiced honey. I don't really get much spice from this, but that beautiful like baked golden pear. Ooh, this one is heavenly, you guys. And this one is also a great one like throughout the holidays. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, 
mm, that's available on their website as well. And then Tree Farm Lane, I, uh, I put a review of this up on Thursday, so if you missed it, I'll try to remember to link that down below. This is also in that trio. It is really, really nice. Um, it's finished now. I did get some residue during the last couple of burns, just in terms of like wax residue on the sides. Normally Homeworks candles don't do that, but in this particular trio, I did notice that the wax kind of stuck to the sides of the jar a little bit more. Not as in like tunneling, just residue, which normally I, I don't have with the Homeworks candles, but these guys do. So this isn't empty. Let's stick that there. I also finished, mm, this one was good. I put up a review of the balsam white birch. I think it was last weekend. This is a really, really nice Christmas tree scent. Um, you can actually find this one at Ulta as well. So um, if you prefer to shop through Ulta, um, this is available there too. So uh, let's, let's go back to nest because it is nest season for me. I, I love a lot of nest candles, but I have kind of what I call my holy trinity of holiday uh, scents from nest. And it consists of my spiced orange pomander, my birchwood pine, which if you've never gotten birchwood pine, it's, oh, it's heavenly. It's just a classic, again, holiday tree scent. Very basic, but done in an oddly sophisticated way. I think it might have to do with the packaging, but anyway, uh, Nest Holiday is the third part of this Holy Trinity trifecta, if you will, of just favorite goodness from Nest. Uh, these three are a must every holiday season in my house, and they, they smell so sophisticated and beautiful. I just, I love them. They're gorgeous. Speaking of other gorgeous holiday scents, Cozy Christmas. Also, um, there was another holiday collection that Kringle Candle just put out. Um, the labels are adorable. Uh, my candle budget is kind of blown for the year, but these are a really good deal. They're 40% off, and you can also use my 15% off discount code on top of that. Um, I will put a, list, uh, a link to Kringle Candle down below and you can find that holiday collection there. Some of the scents sound really nice. I haven't had a chance to smell them, but they, they sound beautiful. So if you're interested in that collection, they are in their three wick format. But um, I have been enjoying Cozy Christmas. Oh, you guys. Cozy freaking Christmas. This one is just heavenly. I think this is going to be a classic for me going forward. I hope Mick keeps it in the collection. It's just so well done. This has a little bit of like that fireplace or like hearth type note. And it's, uh, it's, it's so good. This is so good. I absolutely love this one. I think you've already seen the in-depth review of this. I feel like this also went up on Thursday. So if you're curious, um, more Kringle reviews to come. Um, I am working my way through the Christmas scent, which is very, very classic. This is a very classic fragrance to my nose. Um, I'm excited to review this one for you guys. I think I'll probably have this review up. I'm going to do another trio of, rev of reviews for next Sunday. So look for this, like the Sunday after Thanksgiving that weekend, next weekend, if you will, because, oh my gosh, Thanksgiving is here this Thursday. What? <laughs> Freaking me out, guys. Okay. Under the Christmas tree. <sighs> this is beautiful. This is, the... I will say. Where Bath & Body Works kills it is a lot of the, like, fragrance, fragrances, fragrance concoctions, smells. They, they kill it in the smells department. Where they struggle for me is the performance department these days. Sorry, he has to get comfortable, so we have to let him do his nesting technique here. Um, this is just such a beautiful fragrance, and so far it's actually performing quite well. Like I haven't had any massive mishaps, and this has um, this particular one has those thinner wicks. Well, I guess like medium-sized wicks, um, not the tree stump wicks that um, the Cookies with Santa comes with. I just really wish this one didn't have these massive wicks because I think it would just burn better. This one's burning like a champ. Um, I don't know, but I love this scent. Did I already review this one for you guys? 
I don't know, but the notes in here are for balsam, juniper berries, uh, vanilla eggnogs, and sage leaves. It's so good. I feel like I did just review this one and put it up on Thursday. Psh. I'm I'm doing Thanksgiving dinner this year, you guys, and honestly, that's where my brain is at. Um, I am responsible for the whole thing this year. I'm a terrible cook. Thankfully, my mom's going to be here. She's going to help me because I tell you what, if I had to put together an entire Thanksgiving dinner, um, it would be disastrous. I love my mom. I don't know what I would do without her because she's an amazing cook. Let's talk wax. Uh, more spiced eggnog this week because, oh, it's so good. Guys, even if you just put the spiced eggnog into your Scentsy Club, you can. So when you want to put one of these brick scents into your club, what's going to happen is you'll get just a regular bar. You'll get one of these size bars in the eggnog fragrance in your club going forward. I am tempted to actually add this into my club because this guy is a freaking powerhouse. Now it's a powerhouse for about two days and then it really like drops off kind of drastically. But for the first two days that I put this in my warmers, it is like eggnog in your face, like just coming at you like a freight train. And then it just goes, <laughs> but that's okay because man, does it smell good for those two days. This is creamy cinnamony, but not heavy cinnamon. You can actually, it smells like dairy gold eggnog, which is the eggnog that I always buy during the holidays. It smells exactly like, just take that out of your fridge, pour it in a little mug and drink it. This smells exactly like that. It is spot on creamy, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, noggy goodness. Love it. I love this. Love it. Okay. Um, these are, yeah, these are all the new ones. Um, and then I started a new pile for next week's melting, but let's talk the empties from this week, which are all over here. Okay. So, uh, more, uh, mulled cider and spice. You guys, this holiday, um, trio, which also comes with, I, I bought so many of these. This is the best trio of like holiday scents um, that I think Scentsy has done. Um, Joy and Wonder, Heavenly, Mighty Pine, a beautiful tree scent, not astringent, gorgeous. And then this mulled cider and spice. Mm. It's like, it's a cider scent, but somehow they made it smell Christmassy. Oh, it smells so good. Like it's spicy, but it's not like red hot cinnamon spice. These are just really well done. I love, I love this. I will probably order at least one more set before. Cause I just, I'm going through them like crazy. I, I love that trio. That's amazing. Um, bring back my bar. Happy birthday. I love happy birthday. It smells like fun Fetty birthday cake. Uh, you'll have to wait for it to come back and bring back my bar to get it. Um, I have it in my club, but currently you can get graham cracker crunch, which is heavenly. It smells like honey made graham crackers with a slight smear of peanut butter, if you will. To die for cinnamon buttercream, very basic. This is like they took their vanilla bean buttercream, sprinkled just a little bit of like a beautiful like Ceylon cinnamon in there, and then you have this, and it is. It's beautiful. It's also a really nice one to mix with other fragrances. If you put this with Mighty Pine, you should try that. It's delicious. Oh, and then here is, here's my latest Joy and Wonder that I finished. Um, got quite a few empties this week. I was much better about changing out my wax this week. Man, this is beautiful. This is very, I don't know that like everybody would love this. It does have like a kind of strong, um, it almost smells like there could be some patchouli in here. It's just kind of a spicy heaviness is what I would say like the vibe is, but with like a beautiful holiday twist. I, I cannot get enough of this one. I think this is another one that I really probably will end up putting in my club because it's just so good. Um, apples and oats. I have apples and oats in my club. I, I don't know if it's currently available. It smells, I've already said this before, but it smells like 
It smells like fancy oatmeal at like a resort spa. You know, like a place where you go and they like make breakfast. They make all your meals and they just make them extra amazing and good. And then when you go home, you're like, ugh, my oatmeal sucks. <laughs> you can smell like the beautiful baked apple note in that. Um, you get that oatmeal smell, um, like that brown sugar, just, oh, it's so good. Um, almond croissant, you can get almond croissant and you should. This will likely be in my video tomorrow. Almond croissant for me is just, it's year round. That's why it's in my club. I can warm this in the spring when I just want a beautiful like bakery smell going throughout the house. I can warm this in the fall when I want to pair it with my pumpkin scents to make it more fall appropriate. I can warm this during the holiday season with all of my tree scents and all of my other bakery scents. And it's just, it's perfect. If you have never tried almond croissant, you must. It is flaky, it's buttery, it is delicious, it is heavenly. And I am not into anything Disney, you guys, um, but this Haunted Mansion three thumbs up is delicious. Now this is kind of like a, um, it, it is like a pumpkin scent with like, it's got some of like those classic like fall spices in there as well, but it also, for whatever reason, this also lends holiday to me. Um, it might be just because I'm warming it while I have trees and whatnot going in my house, but I don't know, it's just really beautiful. Uh, I've heard a lot of you guys really like this one too, so let us know in the comments down below if you also give it a thumbs up. But um, that is what I have for you guys this week. It's a lot. Oh wait, no, I also have this. Um, I burned another one of these uh, Kringle uh, Daylights, um, and this is the Holiday Pop. And actually, so Mick had sent me some of the uh, some of the Daylights and just some of the different fragrances, and um, I liked the smell of this Daylight so much that I also purchased a full size of like this format in this fragrance. It's so good, you guys. This is a fruity, bubbly, effervescent um, New Year's smell to me. I cannot wait to burn this candle over New Year's. I think this is gonna be a great way to start the New Year. It's crisp, it's fresh, it's fruity, it's fun. It's You can smell that like bubbly, either champagne or Prosecco type note. It's really, really beautiful. And that is the Weekly Home Fragrance Roundup. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check out that description box down below. All the discount codes, links will be down there. Um, in the comments, let me know what you are burning and melting this week. And let me know what you are most excited about for this upcoming holiday season. Um, this is definitely my favorite time of year. And for me, it's just getting to spend time with family. I just, I love being around my family. And this is the time of year when we like make it a priority we definitely make it a priority like other times of the year as well but i just think that like the holidays it's just like a given and i love that it's just expected every single year that everybody gets together and we just celebrate and eat i love to eat <laughs> we are coming into my bulking season so if my face gets a little rounder you know why all right, you guys, have a great rest of your day. Stay tuned for my collab with Lisa tomorrow. And um, yeah, please subscribe if you're new. Take care. Toodaloo.